Hello YouTube, Jeremy Just 2000 here, coming at you with a fictional airport update. The time for this one is 9.30 a.m. Uh, this would normally be the uh, basically the busiest time for the airport with a big Delta, Alaska, and United push. Um, but since the current situation, lots of flights are canceled, got planes towed off to uh, hard stands. Um, the a lot of the, the the airport's still pretty crowded in terms of aircraft at the gates, but that's mostly because they ran out of hard stands and they were just parking planes and empty gates. Uh, so with that said, uh, I got like four new models in this update: the Singapore A three fifty, NG models American seven eight nine, uh, another United Express E one seventy five, and the Prime Air Century Zone eight hundred uh, uh, freighter. Uh, if you'd like to see reviews on those, uh, just comment below which ones. Uh, I would like to get to some of all those. I'm still currently working. I work for the, at the Real PDX as baggage handler. Uh, we're considered essential, I guess. Uh, so I still work. Uh, my hours are just about to get reduced, though. Uh, but yeah, so let's just get started. I'll just start out here over in the United Terminal, Terminal A. Uh, right here is a, well, here's a new model, actually. United A319 in the new livery. Um, and he is uh, heading out to San Francisco, and he came in from Boston. Uh, Boston was originally on a 757. Here's an A320, which is, came in from LAX. It was going to head out to Portland, uh, but that flight was canceled. Um, instead, he'll be heading out to Chicago O'Hare on regular scheduled flight in an hour. Right here is a 777-200 uh, for United. Uh, he came in from Chicago O'Hare. He's going to be heading out to Newark. Uh, mostly with United, it's mostly just hub routes. Here's a 737-800 for United. He came in from Denver. He was supposed to head out to Las Vegas. That flight was canceled. Uh, now he'll be heading out to Houston. Here's a 764 for United doing a Newark turn. Uh, then right here, first new model is the Singapore A350. Uh, he's doing a, a Singapore turn. Uh, you can see all the servicing on it. Uh, this one wouldn't be quite realistic because Singapore, they have stopped their, basically most of all their international flights, at least to the US and like, uh, so this flight, but since it's a new model, I wanted to happen in the update. Uh, so I'm saying like tomorrow or something, he'll stop service. Uh, right here is a United Express CRJ 550 just sitting at the gate, no flight. All their flights are canceled. Uh, Dash 8Q400 for Air Canada, also just sitting at the gate, uh, no flights. Empty Star Alliance International Gate. ANA 777-200ER, um, and he is doing the Tokyo Haneda turn. Um, and they were still, they were one of the airlines that was still actually flying flights to the U.S. Um, uh, internationally, so I got them in this. There's a bunch of international airlines that are actually not on this update. I'll go over all those. Uh, but right here is a United 737-900ER, uh, which is going to be heading out to uh, Anchorage. Uh, flight wasn't canceled, and he came in from San Francisco. And then right here is a 757-200 for United. Uh, which going to be hit, which came in from Houston was supposed to head out to Boston. That flight was canceled. Uh, now I'll be heading out to O'Hare. That flight's a little delayed. Um, uh, yeah, so that's those for the United. Uh, right here is a Sun Country 737-800, um, and he's going to be heading out to um, uh, Puerto Vallarta, and he came in from Dallas. Uh, JetBlue A321 is sitting at the gate, no flight. Uh, his flight to JFK was canceled, but he will take the red eye at around 10 p.m. back to JFK. We've got a United A319 also just sitting at this gate. Uh, his flight out to uh, Seattle was canceled. Uh, Air Canada, CRJ750, um, and he's heading out to uh, Calgary. That flight's still going. I forget if Canada has locked their borders. If so, then this is like a, just getting people back who live there. Um, then right here is a Frontier A320neo in from San Jose heading out to Austin. And we have a JetBlue A320 here uh, heading out to Fort Lauderdale. Um, and he came in from uh, San Francisco about three hours ago. The flight was originally in Orlando inbound, but that one was canceled. Um, and for these uh, low costs here, the canceled flights are uh, a Frontier uh, Las Vegas to Madison turn and a Frontier Cincinnati to Cancun turn. A Long Beach JetBlue turn, uh, Fort Lauderdale in, uh, Orlando out JetBlue turn, the Hawaiian flights for Honolulu and Kahului, and then also Sun Country to Honolulu. Those were all canceled uh, for these for these kind of low cost airlines. Over to Southwest here, 
I have a 737-700 uh, just sitting at the gate here. Uh, flight's canceled. He'll be ferried out to wherever Southwest is parking point. Uh, he was supposed to go to Sacramento and came in from San Jose. But that was canceled. Here's a 737-700. Uh, he's doing the flight out to Oakland. Came in from LAX. A uh, 737-800 heading out to Denver in from Las Vegas. And a 737-800 heading out to San Diego in from Phoenix. And then right here's the Alaska Regional Terminal. Uh, right here is a Q400, going to be heading up to Seattle Tacoma. He came in from Bellingham. We've got an E175 here uh, heading out to Oakland, and he came in from Reno. And then we got two more Q400s just sitting here, uh, canceled flights. And right here is a Alaska A320 uh, out to San Francisco, and he came in from Portland. Century 800 out to LAX, um, and he came in from Washington National. Century 900 ER heading out to San Diego and from San Jose. And the A319 out to Las Vegas and from Phoenix. And then we have two more Alaska Regionals uh, just parked here uh, for storage. Uh, over here to this hard stand here, this is Alaska and United. Uh, we've got five, we've got four Alaska 737s and one A321 Neo. Uh, all in the hard stands here, all their flights were canceled. Then here's the Uniteds, and oh, we have an Alaska E175. Uh, you got a United A320, which was supposed to head out to Puerto Vallarta, canceled. Alaska United 737 out to Orlando, canceled. United E170, uh, the two E175s were supposed to go out to uh sacramento and redmond and the e170 was supposed to go out to billings all those canceled and then right here taxing though we have a united 737 800 uh, which is actually going out to departure uh for uh, let me find it i tried to write all these down but i uh, he's going out to uh denver and came in from san francisco i think that's i thought i already did that one uh, but he's just a, like a ferry type flight, just going out empty. Uh, Valaris heading out to Guadalajara. Normally there'd be a nice big long line of planes here, but sadly there's not. Uh, United got the two end Delta gates here to park their 787s. We have a 78710 here, which came in from uh, Taipei at about 5.30 a.m. The Singapore outbound was canceled, uh, and but he'll be heading back to Taipei at 1 p.m. Uh, United, they operate a couple international flights still in the real world uh, to Sydney and Tokyo Narita, uh, both from San Francisco. And they also operate some Europe flights uh, along with the, uh, like the special charter flights. But there's still a couple uh, scheduled flights. And here's the 77-8, uh, which is supposed to go out to Tahiti and come in from Chengdu, China. But both of those are canceled, so he's just sitting here until further notice. Uh, we have an American 7879, a uh, new model, uh, doing a Dallas-Fort Worth turn. Uh, this flight and plane was, wouldn't be originally scheduled, uh, but for crew uh, currency purposes, uh, they threw a 7879 on this domestic route. I uh, totally just made up that reason, uh, but but yeah, but I just wanted to have this model in here uh, for the Dallas-Fort Worth turn. Um, over to the uh, Deltas here. Uh, we've got a CRJ-900. Uh, for Delta, doing Missoula out to, uh, came in from Mizzou from Redmond, is heading out to Missoula. Empty Delta Gate, Century 7900 here, uh, heading out to Portland, um, and he came in from Los Angeles. 757-300 here, heading out to Minneapolis, and he came in from Atlanta. 757-200 here, um, and he came in from, uh, uh, it was supposed to come in from Orlando, but that was canceled, so the plane sat here overnight, um, and is now heading out to Kahalui Maui. We have a 717 up here, um, and he is going to be heading out to Colorado Springs, came in from Seattle. 83900 heading out to Nagoya, Japan, and he came in from, uh, uh, actually he was a RON flight. Uh, he, he overnight, uh, the Osaka inbound, which would normally be for that guy, was canceled. All right here's another Delta 757200 out to Atlanta, came in from Honolulu. And 833300 doing a Tokyo Narita turn. And a Century 7 800 doing out to Denver and from San Francisco. Uh, still a good number of Delta flights. Um, uh, I've noticed Japan seems to, most of all the planes going to and from Japan are still uh, active. Uh, so right here is a Japan Airlines 787 8, 8 uh, One World, so he's in the One World terminal. Um, and he is uh, heading out to 
um, uh, Tokyo Narita. And here's American A319 doing Chicago O'Hare turn, and a A321 doing a uh, Charlotte turn. Yeah. And for American, the cancellations are. Um, oh yeah, actually we have one more. Uh, the 757. Uh, I want to have this one because now that they're retiring, uh, he's coming in from Dallas Fort Worth. He's pretty early, and he'll be heading out to Miami around 11 a.m. Uh, wasn't canceled, but the American cancellations was a JFK turn on the 737, a E170 LAX turn. We also had Qantas canceled and uh, and Cathay Pacific to Hong Kong canceled. Uh, right here on the runway is the Asiana 777-200ER in from Seoul. Uh, they were still flying Asiana, so I'm having this guy in the update. Um, here's the Sun Country 737 that was canceled to Honolulu. Then we have Delta, uh, a bunch of Delta planes here. Uh, we have like uh, seven here. And then in the hangar here, I got a good amount more. There you go. So these are the rest of the Delta cancellations. Um, and they were supposed to head out to Los Angeles, um, uh, JFK, Boise, Juneau, Alaska, Cincinnati, Washington National, Cleveland, Oklahoma City, uh, Dayton, Ohio, Indianapolis, Seoul, Ontario, Memphis, uh, Kansas City, Reno, Phoenix, Sky Harbor, San Francisco International, Spokane, and Puerto Vallarta. So those were the Delta cancellations for this time. Um, other cancellations for the international carriers was the China Airlines A350 to Taipei, the China Eastern A330-200 to Nanjing, Virgin Australia 777-300ER to Sydney. Uh, then we also had canceled uh, French B A350 in from Tahiti out to Paris Orly. So those are the cancellations. Um, oh, and for United Star Alliance, we had LL canceled. Um, yeah, to Tel Aviv 789. So yeah, that's that's the update. Actually, all, all the cargoes here. Uh, Korean Air Cargo 747 Freighter in from Chicago O'Hare is going to be heading out to Anchorage. Uh, Indianapolis bound FedEx MD-11. UPS 767 out to Memphis came in from Boeingfield. Prime Air 767 heading out to Baltimore in from, um, uh, let's say, Ontario, California. Prime Air 737-800 uh, going to be heading out to Chicago Rockford in from uh, Portland and uh, DHL 757-200 heading out to Cincinnati in from Vancouver, British Columbia. Uh, so that's gonna end the update here. All the cancellations sadly and most of the flights that are going out are pretty much all empty. That's the way it is in the real world um, sadly. Um, naturally there will be even more cancellations. This is all just what I made up. I took uh, these off of my real schedule and then figured out which ones would probably be canceled if this was a real life airport and then canceled those ones uh, based off what I've seen. Uh, so uh, that's the update. Hope everybody stays safe. You wash your hands and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go follow me on Instagram at gemmajets underscore 2000. And thank you for watching.